This beauty is a Chebrikov knife on loan to me from Alex, from Alex's knife box. Uh, if you read Russian, you can pause there and check out what it is. I actually don't know what the model name is or really much about the knife at all. Um, but it is a thing of beauty and uh, beauty and engineering. Look at this gorgeous knife. Yes, that is a Sanmai blade. And when you put it on its, uh, when you look at the spine of the knife, you can see the two different, or the, the I think it's uh, two different steels. It might be more, I can't tell, but it's uh, a steel sandwich, as is Sanmai, with the hard cutting steel in the center and softer steel on the outside for forgiveness. Look at the beauty of this thing. So as it's ground, it reveals the different layers of the different steels. And uh, it is a, just a fine, fine knife. Beautiful carbon fiber handles. Have a just a sumptuous feel to them. Uh, this side is linerless. And then on this side, you have the, the bronzed titanium liner in there. And it's just a smooth thumb stud operated knife. I love this sound. Oh, love that. Let me turn this down over here. So as I mentioned, this is on loan and uh, I'm about to send it back to Alex, but I just had to get it on video here. Look at this bronzed hardware. That beautiful clip that comes down to that delicate point there. And then uh, I like the jimping on the clip. It, it not only echoes this uh, patterning on the back spacer, but it grips, it, it aids in gripping the, the knife as you pull it from your pocket. Very simple, beautiful bronze hardware. Nice thumb stud and gorgeous jimping. Thank you, Alex, for sending this along. It, this is the second Chebrikov knife I've experienced. Uh, the other one came through the pass around group and uh, it was a little bit more diesel. It was a big uh, flipping uh, flipper Bowie style blade. It was really cool. Uh, rough and tumble knife. This is a little bit more refined, I gotta say. That, that carbon fiber is pretty, pretty cool. You know, what? It, it's like looking through a glass, uh, you know, windshield with ice on it and light shining on the backside. Just gorgeous. Not much to say about this knife. You can see the phosphor bronze washer in there. And uh, I've not much to say about this knife as I haven't used it. I've been handling it with kid gloves uh, like I have the other knives on loan from Alex. But I'll show you uh, some size comparisons with some of the some of the Trinity, some of the Holy Trinity of my knife collection. Actually, it goes beyond Trinity. This is the uh, Sabenza 21 here. So that's it next to a Sabenza 21. Here it is with a Strider SMF, the big one. So a decent size here. You have a, a uh, 3.6 inch blade about. And... Uh, I bet this thing works really, really well because of this grind. I mean, this grind is very thin and beautiful. I mean, it comes to a very, very fine edge. I bet it's a performer, but I'm not going to, uh, not gonna try. <laughs> Here it is with an XM18, uh, three and a half inch XM18. <clears throat> and then another fine, Folder, the uh, the VSEP by Les George. So this knife kind of fits in the in the size category of all these sort of classic uh, classic modern folders. <laughs> classic modern folders, modern classics. You know what I mean? Uh, just for size, but in terms of execution, it's a it's a it's a different kind of beast. There, there's a certain luster to this. Uh, blade that is just lovely you can see my phone in there and uh god just a gorgeous knife and i love this line 
where the hard cutting steel is revealed. I also like that, uh, well, this knife, you can, you can kind of flip it open. It's got nice detent, but I like to just slowly roll it out and hear it click open like that. So, uh, Chebrikov knives, um, are very, very, very well made, beautifully designed. And if, if I'm guessing right from what, uh, People have said, Alex included, they're, they're reasonably priced for such a luxury item. Uh, now, that being said, I, I can't tell you what those prices are uh, because I don't know. I went to their website and it was all in Russian. And uh, and then I didn't bother to look further. I'm sure if I were more uh, diligent, I could find other details about them in English. But uh, needless to say, it is just a beautifully executed knife. And... Uh, is gorgeously done. So Alex, I just want to thank you for letting me experience this and uh, I will be sending it back to you nicely insured quite shortly. All right, everybody. Thanks.